Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, I'm going to tell you like it is. Freddie Roach is a better promoter than he is a trainer. I mean, this man, he knows how to sell a fight. Let's just put it that way. And there's nothing wrong with selling a fight, okay? Nothing wrong with selling a fight. Nothing wrong with making your fighter look good. But there's a difference between a trainer making his fighter look good and he's really sincere. Like me, like meaning he really believes it. He is really consistent with everything he says, right? And then there's other trainers like Freddie Roach who changes what he says about his opponents like the weather. You know, it's really interesting when you have a trainer with the type of experience that Freddie Roach has. And you hear him talking like a dumb, casual fan. Now, I mean, when you hear this from internet fans and people on the street, you got to give them the benefit of the doubt because they don't know any better. I mean, they're doing the best that they can do with the little box analysis they have, right? But see, Freddie Roach, on the other hand, he has no excuse to be talking like he doesn't know any better. He does know better. And see, I told you guys this before, and I'll continue to tell you this. Unfortunately, sometimes when you constantly hear dumb fans, casual fans walking up to you saying the same thing over and over, it can be contagious. And eventually, depending on how strong your immune system is, you can be infected. This is what's happening to Freddie Roach. It happened to Manny Pacquiao. And it also happened to Canelo Alvarez. I'm talking about them starting to regurgitate some of the comments that they hear their fans constantly say. All right, so let's go ahead and get into exactly what Freddie Roach said. A couple of days ago, I don't know if it was yesterday or whatever, but uh, Freddie Roach, he basically said that he doesn't believe that Tim Bradley is a better fighter since the first fight. But in that article, he also said there's no way that Tim Bradley can beat uh, Manny Pacquiao by backpedaling and running. Let me say this. When it comes to sales, there is a difference between truly believing in the product that you are selling and not really believing in it, but just trying to sell it to make a commission or tell people what they want to hear so you can sell the product. You follow me? And I'm going to tell you guys right now. I'm not saying that Freddie Roach doesn't have confidence in Manny Pacquiao winning the fight. But Freddie Roach is so inconsistent. Especially for a trainer. You don't really see this from like seasoned trainers. Usually they are pretty consistent you know, from day one. When they're talking about fighting against their opponent. But Freddie Roach on the other hand. Right now, he's talking about there's no way Tim Bradley can win the fight if he backpedals all night. But interestingly enough, it was only, what, about two or three weeks right before the fight got done, Freddie Roach, he was singing another tune. Before Freddie Roach was saying, you know, um, we would prefer to fight Marquez if we could. That's the, the main guy we want. Why? Because Tim Bradley... He is going to be a difficult opponent because, number one, his foot movement. And he's a smart, slick boxer. This, these are words that came from Freddie Roach. But now that the contract is signed, Freddie Roach is singing another tune. It just, like I said, it, it really makes me question the confidence that Freddie Roach really has in his charge, Manny Pacquiao. You know, one minute... Freddie Roach, he'll say something like after the Brandon Rios fight, he'll say, you know, uh, Manny Pacquiao is, is, is not as good as he used to be, but, you know, he's still this. And then he'll turn back around and say, you're going to see the best Manny Pacquiao against Tim Bradley and et cetera, et cetera. Very inconsistent, once again, for a seasoned trainer. All right. Now, another thing I want to bring up is he, when he's constantly talking about his opponent is going to run and they're going to make it a boring fight and et cetera, et cetera, because that's also what he was saying, you know, in this um, recent article or interview. Now, the reason why this makes 
Freddie Roach once again looks so inconsistent in contradicting himself because you guys have to understand something. Manny Pacquiao is not an Antonio Margarito type fighter. He's not a Julio Cesar Chavez type fighter. He's not a Ruslan Provodnikov type fighter. And what I mean by that is you would expect those fighters and their trainers to basically accuse everyone of running. You would expect that from them because they're used to charging people, playing the, you know, the, the role of the, the bull, and usually their opponent is playing the matador. But that's not the case when it comes to Manny Pacquiao. For Freddie Roach to talk about his opponents running, right after we just seen how Manny Pacquiao fought Brandon Rios, it sounds ridiculous to say the least. It sounds ridiculous. Like I said, Manny Pacquiao, he was moving more in that Brandon Rios fight than Tim Bradley did in the Marquez fight and the Manny Pacquiao fight. Like I told you guys before, the difference is Tim Bradley, he is keeping things in the center of the ring. And when he's moving around the ring, it's a calm little bounce. There were a lot of times in the uh, Pacquiao versus Brandon Rios fight where Manny Pacquiao, he was moving away from Brandon Rios in somewhat of a panic. He was, he was really moving away. And I told you guys, Roy Jones, he said something about it. He said, you know, I don't like the way Manny Pacquiao looks. You know, when him moving around the ring, it looks like Brandon Rios is forcing him to work harder than he really wants to. And then even Jim Lampley, Manny Pacquiao's number one fan, he said, yeah, you know, uh, Manny Pacquiao is moving a lot more than he usually does. Manny Pacquiao, he also did the same thing when he was fighting against, of course, a big puncher, Antonio Margarito. Okay? But see, like I said, Tim Bradley was in the ring with a big puncher when it comes to Manny Pacquiao, and Tim Bradley was calm. He was poised. So I find it really bizarre that someone like Freddie Roach, who just seen what his fighter did in his last fight, would talk about another fighter running. It doesn't make sense. And it really makes it difficult to take anything that Freddie Roach says serious. Kind of like Bob Arum. I mean, like I said, once again, there's nothing wrong with drumming up the fight. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to sell the fight. But the only point that I'm making is Freddie Roach, he is very inconsistent. And I don't think that he believes in the product that he's trying to sell 100%. I believe he's trying to tell people whatever they want to hear just to sell the product. And then you have the negotiations with the testing, with the random drug testing situation going on right now, which I think is ridiculous. You know, I, I just don't understand Manny Pacquiao when it comes to his reputation concerning drug testing. I talked about this um, on my, my radio show, which uh, the video should be uploaded maybe later on tonight. Or tomorrow, I had some problems trying to upload it. But anyway, um, I talked um, about that a lot with uh, Arab King, who was on the show with me as well. So uh, you guys will um, see that video when I go ahead and upload it, of course. But uh, yeah, man, I, I don't understand why um, Manny Pacquiao, with the type of reputation that he has, you know, Manny Pacquiao, he could have started taking Olympic style drug tests a long time ago and cleared his name. But yet he's still doing these things that just look suspicious. Like I said, this should have been a part of the contract since day one. Now, another thing I wanted to bring up is something else that Freddie Rose said, which is he doesn't believe that Tim Bradley is a better fighter today than he was back then when they first fought. Now, and I may surprise you guys when I tell you this. In a way, I kind of agree with Freddie Roach. Tim Bradley is not a better fighter than he was the first time he fought Manny Pacquiao. Tim Bradley was always a great fighter. If you guys look at the Marquez versus Bradley fight, that is the exact same performance that Tim Bradley had against Lamont Peterson. Bouncing on his feet. That's the same performance he had against Nate Campbell before that fight got stopped. This was Tim Bradley was always a terrific boxer. He always had great foot movement. Okay, 
The only difference when it comes to the, the first Manny Pacquiao fight and the rematch is Tim Bradley, when he was fighting against Manny Pacquiao back then, he wasn't 100% because he didn't have his legs, which is one of his most impressive attributes, is his footwork. His footwork tied in with his head movement, agility, etc., etc., right? So it's not that he's better than he was. It's just this time he's going to be 100%. And you know, it's funny because if you go back and you look at the extremely biased HBO scorecards, Jim Lampley and his biased commentary, etc., you'll notice that they only scored one round for Tim Bradley. And I remember around the first fight, all of these fans, they were repeating exactly what HBO was saying. I got thousands of messages, people telling me that, you know, Tim Bradley, he only won one round, and that was round 10. Coincidentally, the same round that Harold Letterman gave Tim Bradley. Then you have another guy who may say he got one or two rounds, no more than two rounds, right? This was right after the first fight. It's so funny how now, after everything that has happened, Tim Bradley, he beats Marquez very decisively. Now, all of a sudden, I'm starting to hear all of these Manny Pacquiao fans, the same people basically, saying, you know, oh, Tim Bradley, you can only give him five rounds. Tim Bradley may have won five rounds, but he didn't win any more than five rounds. It's just unbelievable to me that people went from saying Tim Bradley only won one round, now he won five rounds. Well, let me tell you this, guys. If you believe that Tim Bradley won five rounds and the fight was seven rounds to five, first off, that means it wasn't a robbery. That means even you guys believe it wasn't a robbery. That means that you guys believe that the fight was close. But this is the problem for Manny Pacquiao. You mean to tell me that Manny Pacquiao, he could only win seven rounds against a Tim Bradley that wasn't even 100%? Imagine if Tim Bradley is 100%. How many rounds do you think Manny Pacquiao is going to win then? He could knock out a guy that was basically rolling around on flat tires, okay? And like I said, keep in mind, for the people, for the Manny Pacquiao fans that want to say that Tim Bradley was running, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, well, if you're going to say that, then why didn't Manny Pacquiao knock out Tim Bradley when Tim Bradley was standing right in front of Manny Pacquiao. Because I can show you a good five or six rounds where Tim Bradley, he was standing right in front of Manny Pacquiao. So how come Pacquiao didn't get the knockout? Once again, this is the problem when people just make stupid excuses without thinking about what they say before they say it. It's no different than a dumb boxer. A dumb boxer will just throw punches they don't even think about the fact that they're wide open for a counter. And that's what the fans do too. They throw, they throw out wild ass comments without even realizing that they're leaving themselves wide open for counters. And another thing I wanted to mention, you know, I'm starting to notice when it comes to the people who leave messages basically defending Manny Pacquiao and saying he's going to win and then sending me messages saying, how dare you? Pick Bradley to beat Manny Pacquiao. You know, playing a race card and et cetera, et cetera. For the, you know, it's interesting because in a certain way, it seems like even a lot of the Manny Pacquiao fans, like Freddie Roach, they don't have a, like 100% confidence in their fighter Manny Pacquiao. The reason why I say that is because usually when people leave comments, they always just say, you know, Manny Pacquiao is going to win because he won the first fight easy. They never really explain why he's going to win, how he's going to win. They just say he's going to win. You know, to me, that says two things. Either you are just a dumb, casual fan that knows nothing about boxing, or you're a smart, knowledgeable fan that knows a lot about boxing, but you understand that Tim Bradley is most likely or has a good chance, I should say, of winning this fight. But you're hoping that pride prevails. I'm out of time, guys. I'm on to the next one.